Oh, hi. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I will be reading Daytime Star. It is recommended to me by my fellow viewers on YouTube. And I don't know much about it. I heard it is a drama-filled type of romance, I guess. So let me read the description real quick in the bios. And you can find this webtoon on webtoons.com and you guys can more than welcome to read along with me as I have to filter most of these panels for each episode due to the webtoon policy. So here's what it's about. It says, a struggling no-name actress of seven years, Yura Huang, she barely lands a minor role in a mo movie that bounds to be a success. A celebrity celebrity, Seon Shun Yong Kang, I cannot pronounce these names, keeps running into Yura, who always came to, seems to be shedding tears every time he comes across her. As these two reunite in the new movie, Time, will Yura finally seize a moment to make her name known? And will Hyun Hyung, Seon Yong, figure out why he can't get Yura out of his mind? Only time will tell. Sounds interesting. I don't know how I would feel about it, honestly, but I'm gonna give it a chance. We're gonna have an authentic reaction to it, so let's get started. I wanted to become someone as bright as a shining star, so that everyone would recognize me, no matter the distance. Daytime Star, episode one. Now the moment everyone's been waiting for. Dearly beloved and honored guests, please give a round of applause. As a bride and groom, Miran Moon and Jiun Woo Kim walk down the aisle. Here comes a groom! Woo! Whoa. He is handsome. Oh my god, the cheers. Oh, and there's a sketchy lady in the back. Should I just... She looks like she's about to do something crazy. Whack the head of his? One week ago. Here. What's this? I'm getting married. Oh, I see where it's going now. My future father-in-law is a prominent candidate for the next presidential election. Which means there's an inviolable, inviolable? gap in status between you and me. Involable. I don't know if you're naive or just dense. Oh, I told you I was going on a photo shoot and didn't return your calls for a month. Didn't you think of something was off? But then again, you've never gone abroad for a photo shoot, so shoot, you wouldn't know the details on the schedule. Relax. For my sake, just relax. He told me to come for a meal, so let's just eat. He said this is his goodbye gift. I shall gladly accept. Chomp. Excuse me, ma'am. All the guests here today have assigned seats. If you give me your name, I'll guide you to your seat. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. What am I doing here? Why did I come all the way here for a meal? Did I just want to pretend that I was cool with everything? Or did I expect him to notice me and become even slightly nervous? If that's not it, I see both your parents were an accident. You must have had a lot on your shoulders. From now on, I'll always be beside you. Drama bonding, not great. Am I still hung up? On those meaning meaningless words? I hate to admit it, but I'm a complete fool. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but this seat belongs to Sion. Uh, Yura Wei. My name is Yura Wei. Huang? I feel like it's Huang. Huang. Uh, Miss Huang, this way, please. I'm sorry. Oh no, don't be. A seat in the corner, I see. Oh no, I look awful. Where are my sheets? Hmm. Ugh. Where to go? 
I must have left it at the table. Uh, what the? Sion Hong, did you chug your soup the moment you sat down? No, I'm not the one who drank it. Snatch. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh my god, she bowed, she zoomed out. Oh my, she did. What's with her? She looks familiar. Where did I see her? Hey, you two, it's been a while. Long time no see! <laughs> oh well, who cares? Goodness, pull yourself together. To be continued. This seems interesting. Here's a warning already? Okay, I don't expect that normally in the drama series, but okay. This episode contains depiction of self-harm. Viewer discretion is advised. You guys been warned. Daytime Star, Episode 2. Yura! You made it! You made it! What's this? You've been casted for time! What? Seriously, did I really get the role in time? Yes! Oh! oh the chibi character! This is so cute! Okay, Jin, Jin Yoon, am I dreaming? Is this really happening? It's real, very real. Goodness, you cry, baby. Time is a new movie by Korea's re-owned director, Jion Yu. Jion Hang Yu. Man, these characters are nice. I mean, with Seon Yoon Kang and Chang Yoon Jo as the two male leads, it's guaranteed to be a box office hit. I auditioned for the female lead role a couple of months ago, but gave up any hope after not hearing from them. After seven long years of no fame, I finally got my break. Yura's filmography up to date. Extra in a coffee advertisement. Extra in a teen drama. Extra in a drink advertisement. And so on. Wait, we shouldn't be sitting here right now. When did they tell us to pick up the script? They must be tight on the schedule with a sudden change of the actress. Oh, and then did they postpone the shooting date? No, they're right on schedule. They want you to come to Busan three days from now and then when you start shooting your scene. What? They want to start shooting in three days? You sure it's not for a table read? Yep. That means I barely have any lines. <sighs> Jin Yong. The role I got is herein, right? Huh? Hayuru? No, they said it's Suchi. Ha. Ha ha ha. Yura? Of course. Yura, what's wrong? Suji is the ex girlfriend role of the male lead who has a couple of reminiscing scenes, then takes her own life. I know the script like the back of my hand. A role of someone who feels hopeless and gives up on life. I think I can do it well. All right. Who knows? I might become the scene stealer by dying dramatically. Having a part in a movie like Time is a huge deal. Yes, that's the spirit. <laughs> Plus, you can finally give it back to him. The handkerchief? Yeah, it's been over a year. One year ago. Cut, cut! Hey, Red Ribbon, how many times are you gonna get it wrong? How can an extra make all the mistakes when the leading star isn't? I'm sorry. Yura, you are right. Jeez, I heard the director picks on one person and drills them throughout the shoot, but when he's not in the mood, the rumor were true. Sorry, Yura. I should have rejected this role when it, they called. No, don't apologize. I'm the one who's sorry. Jin Yoon, I need to use the restroom. Okay. Cut, cut. Hey, Red Ribbon, cut. It's been six years, but no one calls me by my name. Gosh, why am I crying again? I still have more scenes to shoot. Sorry. Uh-uh. Seon Yoon, come. <laughs> All the times. Oh, I'm sorry, Xiongbei. I'm sorry for delaying your shoot. 
Xiaomai is term used to address senior or more experienced colleagues. I'm sorry. <laughs> I believe you have to return that uniform to the sponsoring brand. Why don't you use this instead of ruining your clothes? Thank you. Well then. Oh, your handkerchief. I don't need it. It's all yours. This looks very expensive. Ah. By the way, what's your name? Oh. Uh, it's... You're a one. Sionbei. I was too stunned to thank him properly. Vroom. She's actually really pre pretty. Like, I love the art of this webtoon. He probably doesn't remember me. But even then, I'm honored to have a role beside him in this movie. I can't wait to be continued. Busan. Splash. Jion? Jion Kim? You. You're the one? What are you doing here? Daytime Star, Episode 3. What do you mean? What do you mean? I'm here for the shoot, but why are you here? Jiyun Yu, the director wants to talk to you. Yes, I'll be right there. Turn. Hmm. Wow. It seems like you got more, some minor role. Make sure you watch your mouth and don't get me involved with you. Got it? Mm. Yeah. Jiyun Yu, yes, on my way. <laughs> As heck, you got big news! I just heard from one of the staff members that Jiyun Yu is. Oh, seems like you already met him. What happened? I don't know the details, but he snatched up Chang Yun's role. It was about a sudden change, so I'm sure there are other staff members that just found out about this. But it's a male lead role. Is that even possible? Well, one of the investors back out, so they had some financial issues. But as you know, Jun Yu's wife's family is quite... <sighs> My future father-in-law is a prominent candidate for the next uh, presidential election. I was just recovering from our breakup. My wounds were just about to heal. But this time, I have to face him as the male lead? Yura. Should I tell them you can't do this? No. Why should I run? Even though it's a me minuscule role, it's a role I proudly, I proudly and fairly got. I like the male lead who sneaks around and snatches it from somebody else. Yura. That's right. I'm proud of you, actress Huang. Then you go, oh, go and read over your scripts in the car. I'll be there after handing out these strings to the staff. Uh, I'll go with. Don't worry, just focus on your role. Crap. Hmm, what's wrong? Sorry, Jinyoung. You always have to work so hard because of me. Goodness, stop blaming yourself. To me, you're the prettiest actress on earth. You have to shoot in the wa water today. If you can't get it right on your first try, you will have to... You'll have a hard time, so you just focus on your part. Jin Yun. I'm so grateful for her and owe her so much. Yes, now isn't the time to be hung up on Jiyun Yu. Suji doesn't have many scenes, but she definitely makes a statement in this movie. I'll use the opportunity to finally make my name known. Come on, Jiyun Yun. So you skipped on shooting and went on strike by cooping up in your room <laughs> if anyone should go on a strike it should be me why are you all worked up i mean aren't you even upset changyun why aren't you doing anything what can i do even if i am upset is there anything i can do no matter what you do yon han isn't going to bat an eye i'm sure he's shooting up uh, other scenes instead of stressing over you right now so stop protesting. You think Yoon Han's happy about what happened? I know how much time and effort he put into this movie. You gotta be the bigger person here. We have no choice. We can always work together in different movies, so don't worry about me and focus on your role. 
and let me know how good this Jion Yu Kim is. <laughs> All right, Jion Yu Kim. I met him a month ago for the first time at Mirren's wedding, who have thought I've seen him again like this. He stopped by in the morning to say hi, but it was half-hearted. Way more senior. Uh, hello. All the staff members are catering to him because his wife family is prominent. <sighs> what a disaster. Hey, Xion Yun! Urgent news! What's wrong, Joe? Hyun Su. You need to go and stop Director Yu. If he keeps that up, I'm afraid he's actually going to kill someone. Huh? To be continued. What? I hate that I'm now invested in another webtoon. I just started a new one, which is Marry My Husband. Now I started this one. Now I want to keep on going. So I don't know what's going on. The fact that, okay, so the girl I'm assuming in this webtoon is the lead and she is supposed to be with this handsome actor. Meanwhile, she's going through a breakup. Her douchey ex got married to a rich girl or a very prominent girl in a prestigious family or whatever. And uh, yeah, so I'm assuming these two will get together and be the best revenge ever to her ex. So it's good. Tune in next week as I continue reading this and I have to do a lot more edits and uh, make sure I am within Webtoon's policy guidelines. So, all right, guys, if you guys enjoy my Webtoon reading slash reaction, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!